Welcome back to our videos where I will share some of the Google Apps Script um, skills that I acquired working on a project recently. So as we saw in our um, previous video, I showed you how to get the last row and the last column in a data sheet. What I now want to do is to automate the task of filtering this user data to only return the records matching parameters that we specify. So in this video, I will show you how to filter all of these candidates that we have according to the years of expense that they have and the minimum salary. You'll see it's really not that difficult. Let me just guide you through the two different steps that will follow in the video. First of all, I will create an array with all of the data we want the script to analyze. So that's all of this, right? The, um, it will actually be an array of arrays looking first at the row level and then at the cell um, level. The second thing we will do is we will actually create a new variable where we will store our filter data and use the filter method to select only the elements inside our original array matching our requirement. So let's start and open our script editor. So you just click on tools, script editor. So we have a function here and uh, we will just start writing our code under the command that I wrote um, for filtering the data. So let's uh, declare our variable, our first variable that I call original data. And that's the data where we will search, right? So that's um, basically all of this uh, range here. So we would use the um, user sheet. So we know that it's in the uh, users sheet that we have. And then we will use the get range method. So in uh, get range, you have different options. We will use this one, which basically show you the um, let's say starting cell, so that would be integer uh, row and column, and then the um, the size of the of the range, right? So we have the size, so how low we're going to go, the number of rows that we want to capture, and the number of columns. So we'll just click on this one. So we know that the first cell that we want to um, uh, this range to start with is this uh, is A2, right? So it's the second row and the first column. So we'll just use two and one. And then we will um, we will use the two variables that we defined before uh, with the last row and the last column. So the number of rows is actually last row but minus one. Why minus one? Because if you look at our data, we also have a header column. We don't want, uh, we should not um, take this one in consideration. So we just minus one, our last row. And the number of column will simply be last column. Okay, so let's have a look at what that variable look like. run it okay then let's have a look at our log to see what we got um, we only got range and that's just the, the type of the uh, variable and that's because i forgot to add get values then we will be able to see the values within that range so let's save run it and you can see that we have all of the data that we have. So we have, um, this is an array and the first element is actually the first row. Um, the second one is the second row. And within each of this um, array, you have another, um, so you have an, uh, another array with different elements and each element corresponds to the cell. So we have the first, uh, first cell, second cell, um, third cell, et cetera, et cetera. So that, works. What we now need to do is filter um, this array, correct? So we'll just create another uh, variable that we call, I'll call it filtered data. And the filtered data will actually be the original data. And we will call the filter method. All right. So 
inside this uh, this uh, um, filter method, we will use a function to define the requirements that we want our data to comply with. So for that, we will call uh, we'll write a function, and we will filter by the item in each array. Okay, so you just type function item, then we open it. And this is the time when we now need to um, type return. And we will tell the script the position of the cell within this array that we want to apply the filter on. Remember, the first um, position in an array is zero, not one. So let's say we want to filter according to the years of experience that um, our candidates have. Um, we know that uh, the first cell would after position zero, it would be one, two, and three. So we'll type return item three. Okay. What we then need to do is um, let's say we want to filter according to the candidates that have more than three years of experience. So I'll just have my operator and three, then I close it. Okay, and let's have a look at the data that is in that array now. Okay, so you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. We have only four candidates that are left. And all of them have more than three years of experience. This one has five years of experience. This one has 12 years. This one has five years. And this one has seven years, right? So all of them have more than three years of experience. So I could also change it to, let's say, more than five years. Let's see if that returns the right data. Let's see, I only have one, two candidates. This one has seven years of experience, and this one has 12 years of experience. So um, now I think that um, that's great to be able to do it with one parameter. But what if we wanted to do it with one than, uh, more than one parameter? I think that's the case that you will need the most in all the application that you will build in uh, Google Apps Script. So let's have a look and say we want to filter according to the years of experience, but also according to the salary. Um, that the, the candidate is asking for, right? So it's also quite simple. The only thing you need to do is add ampersand item, and we know that the salary is in the fourth position, zero, one, two, three, four. And let's say we want to select only the candidates that um, are asking for a salary, a minimum salary below 90,000 US dollars. I'll change um, the uh, years of experience by, let's say, three. Save it, run. OK, so you can see that we actually only have one candidate that match this um, requirements. So let's just verify. So we're looking at candidates that have more than three years of experience and asking for a salary um, below $90,000. Uh, so um, more than three years of experience, we're only looking at these candidates. And um, below $19,000, um, that would be this candidate, Barnaby. Barnaby is the only candidate that um, we have that match our requirement. So um, I think that today we've seen how to filter a data range according to specific parameters here, the years of experience and the salary at the same time. In my next video, I will take things to another level and show you how to filter according to keywords. OK, so, for example, we will see how to see candidates only with prior experience in, say, marketing. OK, so uh, you can subscribe and you'll be notified when we uh, when the new video is available. Thank you.